fact is Manchester United 3 FC Porto 3 Manchester United who went two goals up in the first 20 minutes to then go 2-2 at half time and then to lose start game to a losing position at 3-2 and then to end the game equalizing with 10 men and Bruno Fernandes is the reason why we ended up with 10 men back-to-back -back red cards for Bruno Fernandes oh that guy angers me and oh Eric Ten Hag the way you set up Manchester United you just want us to lose we are set up to fail we are set up to lose we are set up to be ran through the midfield we are set up to just concede chances after chances we are set up for for Andre Onana to get set up for to concede some goals because this team it is hard it is hard for us manchester united every single game that we go into we just be conceding goals we just conceding chances we're getting freeze 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 what the fuck is going on here huh it's free the magic number to, to score against us it can't be i can't be taking this free cannot be the magic number against us are we sponsored by free are we sponsored by three? No, seriously, are we sponsored by them? Because we keep conceding three goals each time. Everybody loves to pack ball three past us. Oh, and if we're going to score goals, it's going to be three as well, because we like to do that as well. Manchester United, oh my God. What a game for the neutrals. But for us, Ten Hag was lucky to save himself. His ass got saved in this game because, of course, if it was 3-2, can you can imagine what the news and papers will be saying in the back of the newspapers? You'd be, you'd be seeing what the media outlet will be saying. X will be training Eric Ten Hag out. And I know right now, as we speak, it is probably training Eric Ten Hag out because this performance, once again, it wasn't good enough. Regardless, we, got, we, we finished off with 10 men. In my opinion, it was not good enough because because we should have never been in the position that we was we was two goals up and for god's sake as soon as we was two new up and it was two one i had this feeling copenhagen galatasaray Bayern munich all these games that we are in the lead and we end up losing we saw it all last season and yet manchester united did it once more again we still struggling to to play good football or in Europe and away from home as well. This is a, a good a good result. Although two games, two points, it's still not good enough because we expect a team like Manchester United to go past in the first game and win with flying colours. But in this game here at Porto, where we've, we thought to ourselves, we're going to lose this game. But yet, we did not lose this game. We was in a winning position, but United lacked the balls, lacked the characteristics, lacked, lacked, Lacks, lack leadership, lack concentration levels. This team, seriously, keep the light switch on. The light switch keeps flicking on and off. Those light bulb minutes on and off in Manchester United because you just can't stay concentrated and then feeling electrified because they, they electrify us. They electrify our hearts. They make it hard for us. But let's talk about the match. Because to start off well to, in the first 20 minutes, although in the first couple of minutes, we already, they already got on to us. They already pounced on us, Porto, but we defended well. And we, I said, ride the first half. If you can ride the first half, you'll be able to do well. But then again, Manchester United, the first goal we scored, which was a very good goal. It was a very good goal. It was a very good goal. Do you know why I say it was a very good goal? Because this team done so well. And in terms of the goals that we scored, I know that Marcus Rashford, when I mean a very good goal, I mean a very good start for Manchester United. But I know the Marcus Rashford shot right there. And then took a deflection off of Diogo Costa. Um, with the, but again, the build-up play was good for Manchester United. Rashford as well, running into spaces and getting that goal. And then Rashford played well in the 45 minutes. Although, as well, it wasn't that good. It wasn't good enough. You know, it can just always be a little bit better. But, but Marcus Rashford, a goal and assist for him. I, 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 can't, I, I, I can't fault him. I cannot fault him today sadly he went off injured but Manchester United making it 2-0 Rasmus Hoyland as well having his opportunity to run at the defence of 
um, Porto um, with Markstrom slipping him in and then taking a shot which just went over the line which FC Porto tried to clear it out but the referee said no what that is a goal and at 2-0 there you, you were in heaven we're thinking yeah this is good but again in your back of your mind you, you know you know this team you know this team oh we might not be able to hold this lead and rightfully so we conceded the first goal Pepe scoring the first goal and Andre Onana whenever he concedes he just he just never looks good he looks like a floppy fish in goal 2-1 Pepe and then they made it 2-2 Samu uh, Omaduron whatever his name is making it 2-2 uh, def- again again I have to say the way he scored that goal as well um, to cross it in and to head it in wasn't good it wasn't good our defense is just too leaky that's the truth well leaky tap leaky stadium leaky defense and then 2-2 half time where we're all furious because i was furious the, you was furious it's like oh my god guy like that's all right all over again and it started to become like that because when we went into second half with mark Shrash coming off we already we was already under the cush so open it's the system, guys. I'm 100% certain the system is not good enough and allows teams to just run and bypass us like we're nothing. And then, um, again, Samu made it 3 2, finishing it off well. I gotta say, what a striker he is. You know, Chelsea was after him. Uh, well, Chelsea's always after everyone. But Chelsea was after him. He scored two goals. I think that's about six or seven goals in five games for him. And what a signing for him. And what a signing for Porto as well. Um, well done to him. But then, when our manager made two substitutions, six, I marked this down, two defensive substitutions when we were losing the game, he took off Martinez and De Ligt, But it, it paid off. But what I have to say is, Bruno Fernandes, do you do you back to back record? Do you want to piss us off even more? You we we was happy that he was meant to be suspended for the Premier League team and the Premier League game until that card got overturned. But then you go and do it again. Two yellow cards. Bruno is a problem, and Bruno will always forever be a problem in our team. He's a dentro bent to our style of play, the way we play, gives the ball away, and he had a horrible game once more. He is the reason. Look at him. This is the captain, and I have to say, for a captain, you cannot be emotionally charged. You need to be the one that has the level head, the leadership, to tell everyone to calm down. But our captain, emotionally, too emotional. Too emotional. Everything, he just moans and complains, and he lets it get into his head, and that's why he got sent off. And to be honest with you, why is his leg up that high? Why is his leg up that high? He deserves the red card. And I want to see you against Fenerbahce. I don't. Then Maguire equalises from a set piece. And finally we get a goal from a set piece. Good form, Harry Maguire. But I have to say one thing about our system. Casemiro plays two forward. Eric Ten Hag. You're supposed to tell your defensive ma- uh, defensive midfielder to be the one that sits back and protects the defence. Why is he so forward? He's more ahead of Ericsson. And Ericsson wants, Ericsson's the one that's sitting back. This is the problem of Eric Ten Hag. He's a joker. He's causing us this problem because he's not rectifying it. He's not seeing what we're seeing to fix it. He cannot fix this. It was full-time free-free. But I have to say, this team is shit. What a poor, what a poorly coached team. Players today, I thought Ahmed Diallo was inevitable. I mean, not even inevitable. I mean, invisible. Had no impact in this game. It was probably one of his poorest games. Rashford had a good half until it came off. Bruno Fernandes is a joke. He is a fraud. He's a joke. He's a... He's... 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 he's, he's, he's he does 419. I tried to God. Bruno's Nigerian. Bruno is Nigerian. He has fraud you. He's uh, done decently. This goes in the Sith. It's so fraudulent accounts. Because when you look at the guy, you look at the real spreadsheet, like, this spreadsheet, the real spreadsheet don't make no sense. This other spreadsheet is just fantastic numbers. But when you're doing it and you're seeing the, 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 the stats and all that kind of stuff, what you see on the pitch for these passing abilities, you're like, yo, this is, this is a scam. You're scamming us. You're, you're fooling us. You're, you're Nigerian. 
Bruno Fernandes is Nigerian. He, he's, he's about this. He's, he's, he's a Yahoo boy. He's a Yahoo boy. I'm, I'm 100% certain because he's fooled you. He's scammed you. He's deceived you to tell you that, oh, he's such a good player, but he is not. Rajmir Shoyland had his goal, but after that, that was it. Never really saw him. And Ganacho coming on had no impact. Anyway, guys, you guys let me know what are your thoughts on this game? But my man of the match today is absolutely no one but the donkey of the match has to go to Bruno Fernandes once again. Big up to everyone. Let me know what your thoughts are today's game. Smash that like button. Share across the social media platform. Let me know who your man of the match is. If you have one, your donkey of the match. And tune in on Sunday at 1.30 for matches. That's the Villa versus Manchester United. We're going to lose. <laughs> Peace out, guys. I'm going to bed. I can't take this anymore. Remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. Peace.